okay in the last class we were seeing uh, some of the boolean algebra which we are going to use in our classes okay so already we have seen just to brush up your uh, mind i am just taking it again commutative law a dot b into b dot a so if you if you put the variables like this also it will not make any difference that's what so left hand side equal to right hand side then a plus b equal to b plus a then this is the associative law a dot b uh, within bracket you write dot c here uh, a will be outside then b and c will be inside okay so a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c then distributive law here a outside within bracket b plus c so a is a multiplication multiplication with this uh, sum now here you can write it as a dot b plus a dot c and here a plus b c so here, the, this symbol is outside okay here the multiplication symbol is there so this can be written like this a plus b within bracket multiply multiplication uh, a plus c within bracket and this is this is another law item potent law uh, a plus c a equal to a a a equal to a because it depends upon the value of a so here redundant law a plus a b equal to a a into a plus b equal to a null law zero plus a so it depends the value a equal to a the value depends upon a a dot a since it is multiplication whatever may be the a it will be zero so identity law 1 plus a is equal to 1 1 dot a depends upon the value of a because of this is a plus symbol that is some summation already one is there so the answer is one so negation a bar plus a is definitely it is equal to one because it's a sum if it is zero here it will be one if it is one here it will be zero anyway at any one of the time input will be there will be a one input and it is similar to your r output r output so a bar a because equal to zero because here uh, if this is one this will be zero so zero into one it will be zero if this is one then this will be zero at the time also it will be equal to zero then de morgan's law a plus b the whole bar equal to a bar dot b bar here a bar a dot b the whole bar equal to a bar plus b bar so double negation a bar bar uh, double bar is equal to a itself so this is what we have seen and a bar can be the bar symbol is nothing but it represents complement of the number and this can be represented like this also a then uh, one uh, uh, quotation that is uh, so this can it, uh, this also it can be written like this also so sometimes i might have written like this so okay. now we start proving the first law that is this commutative law this left hand side equal to right hand side that is what we are going to prove so for proving we need the logical circuit when i say logical circuit representing like this using the gates we call it as a and its connections we call them as a logical circuit representation and the output can be represented with the truth table okay so a dot b this is the equation a dot b equal to b dot a that means there are two variables here so you put a b and then you put this product a dot b as one uh, in one of the column and b dot a in another column now what you do is 0 0 you know this order isn't it 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 so the same order you have to maintain because i already told you how you found that this is equivalent of 0 1 2 3 that is how we write the decimal number in an ascending order same way its equivalent is written here so this is also an ascending order then a dot b is multiplication okay so this into this 0 0 0 and here when both are one only you have one then again b into a this into this so the same thing so now you say lhs is equal to rhs so the representation in a circuit diagram it can be represented as nan and gate with two inputs a and b and this is the output so y will be you can say y here a dot b this is the output okay a separately you are giving b separately you are giving like this and the output is this so you give these two different first time you give zero here then one here uh, sorry zero and zero you will get zero zero here you will give input as zero and here you will give input as one then you will be getting the output as zero now uh, 
I'll show, I think, uh, one minute, girls. Uh, check whether I have the Logisim so that I can demo the lab. It's not there, but anyway, I'll definitely uh, show you in the next class. Okay. Um, now, so for this also, it is another AND gate. B, A. So you give different combinations of this. First time 0, 0, then 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Then you will be getting this output. Then here, A plus B. Uh, this is another commutative law. A plus B equal to B plus A. So A variable here you put B variable, then A plus B, B plus A. Same way. You add these things, these combinations, you will get this. So here you can prove that left hand side equal to right hand side. And for this, you use the OR gate two inputs and one output, okay? So if you use these uh, combinations, you'll be getting this answer. Now this, so you have proved the commutative property of this. Then associative property. So associative property, what you do is uh, here, A, B, C, you know, this is the uh, law, A, B into C equal to A into B, C. So how you will prove for this, uh, we have three variables, A, A, B, C, three variables are there. So definitely when there are three variables, 2 power 3 is equal to 8 combinations. So here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and then 1, 0, 0, because this is equal to 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, the binary equivalent of these numbers. So you do, uh, you uh, write all these things, and then uh, you take first this small thing, okay, A, B. So find only just A into B. Now A into B is 0, yeah, 0, 0, 0 into 1, it is 0, 0 into 1, it is 0, and 0, this into this 0, and this into this, it becomes 1, and this into this becomes 1, okay? Then C, this is the value already we have obtained in this equation. Now it has to be multiplied with the C. So when you do that, now you can multiply with these two, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, here also 0, here also 0, and then here you have 1. So this is the output of this equation. So how you can represent this A, B into C? First, within bracket, you write. So you put an AND gate. You know that for multiplication, you have to go for an AND gate. Okay. So A, B, and then into C. So this will be connected with another AND gate, right? So the output A, B is given as an input for the next AND gate and C is given directly for this second in, second AND gate. Now the output will be A, B into C. Now the next one that is uh, here, A into B, C. We would like to prove this. So how you can prove that A into B, C? This is R, uh, R just right hand side. So same way. First, you write BC, the one between bracket. You write that equation. Then finally, A into BC. So if you see that, B into C, you multiply this. Here you get 1. Then then here, here you get 1. Okay, all the other places 0. Now, A into BC means this into this. So here, 0, 0, 0. This is also 0, 0, 0, 0. And here you have 1. Okay, now you check the... Uh, LHS and right at the right arches, both are same. For this combinations, ABC combinations, you have the answer to be the same. So how you can write the uh, write the logical diagram? See here, A is separate and BC is in one AND gate. So B and to C, you put it as an input for one AND gate and then the output will be given as an input for another AND gate where a will be given directly to that second AND gate. Now you have this equations. Any doubt so far? No doubt, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. Yes. Next, we will go to same associative property but with addition. Okay. So A plus B plus C equal to A plus B plus C. So the one within bracket you have you will be considering as one. Okay. So here for A plus B, you put one R gate. A input, B input. 
then the output will be within bracket a plus b this is given as an input for another or gate where c is given as the direct input of that the output from a plus b is given as one input and c is another input Now, if you see this A plus B here, I will just explain this logical diagram, then we will go to the truth table. Here also, same A plus B, uh, sorry, we have, we have written this B plus C first here, B and C put in a one OR gate, the output, the combined output B plus B is given as an input for another OR gate, A is given directly here. So, A plus B plus C. Now, we will come to the truth table. Uh, you write this combinations. You know how to write this. Now we go to this A plus B. That is left hand. I am explaining now left hand. So A plus B. Uh, you know that 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Then plus C. With this you add this. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. So this is your output. Now if same way you see B plus C. These two. 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, with this B plus C, you add A. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, sorry, 1, and here 1, here 1, and 1. So, you get this answer. Left hand side equal to right hand side. Now, we will go to D Morgan's first law. We have seen so far commutative law and associative law. I think we haven't seen the distributive law. Yes. Okay. After we see the De Morgan's, we'll go for distributive law. De Morgan's first law. There are two laws for De Morgan. A plus B, the whole bar equal to A bar, B bar. The next one is A, B, A, B, the whole bar equal to A bar plus B bar. Now we'll see the first uh, law implementation. So, A plus B means you can have to go for an OR gate. Then when there is a bar, you can go for a NOT gate. So, here an OR gate. Then output will be after addition only, you have to do the bar. That is the meaning of this. So, A OR gate then followed by a NOT gate will give you the A plus B the whole bar. So, A is the input, B is the input. Two inputs are there. Now, these two are added together and then after negation you will get the output that is the meaning so this is how you have to interpret then equal to right hand side so how you will write since you know this is an AND gate so AND gate but while giving input itself it is A bar okay and while giving input itself B bar so the A is connected okay, when you are giving the input here itself you will put a NOT gate so, A is there and it will be get converted as the, its complement and then only it will enter into the AND gate. Same way here also. So, the output will be well, here you will get the output. Now, if we see the truth table of this 0, 0, you put this combination because only two inputs are there. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then first you write A bar because it is uh, whatever the values, variables, values, you first write then only you will be a, you will be able to write the output properly you, you cannot write directly the output that that it was a lot of mental calculation so instead in order to avoid mistake you write separately a bar b bar see this this is a term which is coming here then you write a plus b or a plus b the whole bar like this okay so first we are writing a bar when you write a bar it gets converted you know it's complement okay same way B bar, its complement is written. Now, what is the next term? We'll try to write A plus B the whole bar. We, we can do A plus B mental, mentally. Okay. So, A plus B is 0. Its bar is 1. So, 0 plus 1, 1. Its complement is 0. Same way, here 1 complement is 0. Here 1, its complement is 0. Now, we have written this. Then, what is this? We have to write this. We have written A separately, A bar separately, B bar separately. Then this multiplication, we have to write that also here. So, A bar dot B bar is, we have to multiply these two. This is 1, all the others are 0. So, now this is your left hand side here. This is your left hand side and this is your right hand side. You can check the values are same. So, this is 
So LHS equal to RHS is true. Now we will go to D Morgan's second law. Here AB the whole bar equal to A bar plus B bar. So what happened? Uh, here you know this is an AND gate. But the AND gate first input is A is given, B is given. The output only we have to find its bar. Okay, complement. So here after the AND gate, the output for the output we get, have a complement. Okay, whereas here while giving input for the R gate itself, it is complemented. The value of A is complemented and then only it will be given as an input for the R gate. So like this, for that you could put the dot gate here itself in order to negate the A, bar, A and negate B. Okay, so here A, B, so write respectively A bar, here B bar and then A dot B the whole bar, then A bar plus B bar. Now you do the calculations. So I hope you know how to find A bar, B bar. Then A dot B. What is A dot B? This. A first you do multiply 0 into 0, 0. Then find its complement, which is nothing but 1. So 0 into 1, it is 0. Its complement is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. Its complement is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Its complement is 0. Okay. So like that, you have to write. Then A bar plus B bar. So what is it? This plus this directly. So 1. 1, 1, and 0. Now you check left hand side equal to right hand side. Hence, we have proved this De Morgan's second law is also true. We will see the distributive law. Here A plus B into C equal to A plus B into A plus C. This is how you expand this okay, equation. And we have to prove this left hand side equal to right hand side. So first we will see the logical diagram. We have to write B dot C. Okay. So B multiplied by C. For that we use AND gate. And the output is given as an input for the OR gate. So this is A. Now you will be getting the out output A plus B dot C. This is the equation equivalent, the output. Then for the right hand side, you have to draw the diagram again. For A plus B, you go for R gate. And the same thing A plus C for this. Here A is common, isn't it? This variable is common for that. So we have written like this. You can write like this. A, and you have to write like this only. So A is the same A goes to here. Here it goes. Okay, then B is given as an input and C is separate input. Whereas this A is given, um, both are connected and here we give the input. So when you give 0, 0, when you give 0, it goes to both the OR gate. When you give 1, it goes to both the OR gate. That's all. Then the output will be, here you can see it is a multiplication. So dot, AND gate. So A plus B into A plus C. So you put an AND gate. So the output will be given as an AND gate. And then you can see the output. Now we will see the truth table. A, B, C we have returned. Then B dot C. What is it we have to find? B dot C. So when you multiply, you get this value. Then A plus B. We have found this. Then we, this value we have to write. A plus. Why I have not write here? I would like to show you that left hand side equal to right side. So we have pushed this output uh, as a last one. Okay. So A plus B. Find A plus B. You will be getting this value. Then add A plus C. You will be getting this value. Now left hand side. What is left hand side? A plus B into C. That is this plus this. So add this value. You will be getting this. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so you'll be getting this answer. Now, right hand side. Right hand side is this. Already we have found this. This, These two have to be multiplied. So 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so now you can see that your left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, we have proved that 
distributive law also. Now, another distributive law, a dot b plus c equal to a dot b plus a dot c. Now, when you see this, uh, b plus c is there. Okay, first we write the OR gate because it needs separate uh, input. And then the output of b plus c is given as an input for the AND gate. And another input is a. Now you have a dot b plus c. This is your left hand side. Then a dot b, a dot c, you need two AND gate and one OR gate. Here you need one OR gate, one AND gate. Okay, so a dot b. Here again we connected both a because here uh, for both the AND gate we give the a common. Okay, then the output is added according to this equation. And now you can see the truth table. You write a, b, c, then you write b plus c, then a dot b, a dot c. Finally, you write the left hand side and right hand side result. Is it clear, girls? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now I think you have class. Yes or no? Which class? English class, ma'am. Okay. Right. You can leave the class. In the next class, I'll show you. I'll download the Logisim and I'll practically show you how to do this. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I, I just stop the recording.